New Horizon Aircraft is designing a hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft called the Cavarite X7 for the regional air mobility RAM market. The seven-seat aircraft aims to provide efficient regional transport, connect remote communities, and help with climate-related disasters. It can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but fly faster and farther in a traditional aircraft configuration. Expected speeds are up to 250 miles per hour at a range over 500 miles, with a useful load of up to 1,500 pounds, which is why the company thinks it'll be a disruptive force in RAM travel. Over 20 issued and allowed patents have been accumulated to protect the technologies behind the Cavarite X7 design with the earliest expiry in 2035. These patents cover the core fan and wing invention, various other details for practical use, as well as design patents for the aircraft's shape. Additional intellectual property includes hybrid electric propulsion technology, ducted fan propulsion unit blade and stator design, cooling, electrical control, control systems, yaw control software and hardware, and digital twin simulation. The EV tall industry represents a growing sector within transportation, with Morgan Stanley estimating its potential market value at between $1 trillion by 2040 and $9 trillion by 2050. Currently, no commercial EV tall networks exist. The United States has over 5,000 airports, but only 30 support 70% of all travelers, leading to a preference for road travel despite longer commute times. This presents an opportunity to improve regional travel via VTOL aircraft. RAM refers to a faster, more efficient means of transporting people and goods between 50 to 500 miles. The market demand is high due to economical, versatile, and safe aircraft like that of Horizon Aircraft's Cavarite X7 concept. RAM has the potential to change travel and transportation by making air travel more accessible and affordable for all Americans. EV tall technology is expected to revolutionize logistics with advantages in speed, efficiency, and accessibility over current transport methods. The rapid increase in demand for mobility and logistics led governments worldwide to invest around $1 trillion annually into transport infrastructure. Despite this investment, regional transport systems have not improved significantly. Governments are increasing support for EV tall networks through regulatory incentives and investments as seen with the Canadian government's Initiative for Sustainable Aviation Technology, INSAT. Horizon Aircraft was founded in 2013 to develop an innovative prototype amphibious aircraft, but shifted focus to a hybrid EV tall aircraft concept as they understood advancements in electric motor and battery technologies. In June 2021, Horizon was acquired by Astro Aerospace, which later became a revoked public company after failing to submit timely financial information. After reprivatizing from Astro, Horizon successfully raised funding for the continued development and testing of its subscale prototypes and detailed design of a full scale technical demonstrator aircraft. On February 14, 2023, Pono initiated its initial public offering, which was followed by a business combination with Legacy Horizon on January 12, 2024. This combination resulted in Pono changing its name to New Horizon Aircraft. The company claims its competitive strengths come from their proprietary HOVR wing technology that provides more efficient and quieter flight, the ability to fly like a normal aircraft during en route flight, and support for conventional takeoff and landing, short takeoff and landing, and vertical takeoff and landing operations. Additionally, the Cavrite X7 is anticipated to be certified for flight into known icing conditions, expanding its operational capability. New Horizons founding team has experience in designing, constructing, and testing clean sheet aircraft. They focus on the rapidly growing regional air mobility market and aim to develop technologies that can be broadly licensed for revenue generation. The Cavarite X7 EV tall aircraft has become their flagship product, with some of its other selling points being its hybrid electric power system that provides two sources of electrical power, recharging in flight, and can act as a power generation station during remote operations or disaster relief missions. Compared to traditional helicopters, this technology reduces emissions through efficient energy use during different phases of flight. Along with that, the proprietary ducted fan and wing technology that enables it to take off and land vertically while also flying at high speeds has led to a proposed strategy involving offering solutions for medical evacuation, remote resupply, disaster relief, and military missions. When specifically talking about safety and performance aspects of the Cavarite X7 EV tall aircraft, the hybrid electric system providing two sources of electrical power allows for vertical lifting fans, the ability to hover even with more than 20% fan failure, 
and mechanically contained fans preventing blade loss. Then aside from the Cavarite X7, aiming for flight into known icing, FIKI, certification, it intends to address operational challenges like bird strikes and bad weather. The aircraft's design with only one exposed propeller reduces potential damage from bird strikes and allows it to operate like traditional commercial regional aircraft. Its hybrid power system and efficient en route configuration are purported to make it more resilient in bad weather conditions. The company plans to seek approval for the design through type certification under TCCA using Canadian air regulations, aiming for certification that would allow sales for commercial use. Marketing strategies set out to build awareness for their technology, partnering with external firms to develop a comprehensive plan that includes communication, investor relations, and public relations. They emphasize the benefits of their Cavarite X7 platform and its safety standards. New Horizon recognizes competition in the VTOL industry, but believes they stand out due to their hybrid electric power system and competitive utility. Currently, most competitors are pursuing purely electric flight, which leaves them behind in terms of speed, range, and cargo capabilities. Though it's important to note they expect to deliver their first aircraft by 2027 at earliest, if at all. The company acknowledges risks in designing, building, testing, producing safe and reliable aircraft, obtaining necessary certifications, pricing, expanding customer base, maintaining manufacturing efficiency, predicting future revenues, adapting to market changes, protecting intellectual property, and navigating a complex regulatory environment. Then more broadly speaking, there are still uncertainties surrounding the growth of the regional air mobility, RAM, market for electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVTOL, passenger and goods transport services. Estimates for this market are based on assumptions such as aircraft development, pricing, certification costs, and other factors, which may not be accurate or might change over time. This could lead to incorrect predictions about the RAM market's growth. New Horizon also anticipates significant costs associated with pre-launch operations and post-launch ongoing expenses, such as research and development, manufacturing, maintenance, procurement, marketing, and staff growth. Their ability to achieve profitability depends on successful marketing of their aircraft and cost control efficiency. As a small company in the industry, they expect challenges managing rapid growth while improving compliance programs and hiring necessary expertise. So while this is an exciting time for 21st century aviation, Evtal aircraft companies still need to contend with their fair share of headwinds on their route to commercial viability. New Horizon is no exception, even with its hybrid electric power approach. For more on New Horizon aircraft and other companies, follow Ascencor. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.